Doesn't use the expensive raw materials. There's no cobalt, there's no copper, there's no lithium, there's no graphite, which is really primarily controlled by China today. Can lithium be replaced with sodium ion batteries? While sodium ion batteries may not completely replace lithium ion batteries on the market, they will be used in some situations where high energy densities are not always necessary, such as small scale grid applications or applications involving mobility. To know more about it, please stick around to the end of the video to get the full picture. If the climate crisis is to be resolved, vehicles that run on gasoline and diesel must be replaced with renewable energy sources. Most people believe that electric cars, EVs, are the finest alternative out there. This is so that EVs can run on renewable electricity that is generated from the grid after them fossil fuels. Whereas the internal combustion engines in the majority of contemporary cars can only effectively convert roughly 30% of the energy from fuel, they are able to store and release this energy with nearly 100% efficiency. EVs have lifetime mileage comparable to that of a conventional automobile and can be recharged thousands of times. It is a rechargeable battery that makes this technical achievement possible. The best performing battery technology now offered by businesses is lithium ion. The price of lithium carbonate alone grew tenfold between late 2020 and 2022, but demand for these batteries is soaring and the cost of raw materials used to make them is high. Since China, Australia, Chile and Argentina count for over 84% of the world's known lithium resources, it can be costly and challenging for manufacturers to obtain the raw materials needed to produce lithium ion batteries. Fortunately, batteries based on sodium ions rather than lithium ions may be able to solve these issues which would ultimately result in more affordable EVs. You might think of a battery as a sandwich with an electrolyte filling between the two electrodes known as a cathode and anode. Usually, a liquid with a high concentration of ions dissolved in it soaks of each of the electrodes. Lions travelling towards the anode during battery powered recharging and remain there until more energy is required. They flip back into the cathode when the automobile is turned on, creating an electric current, but that drives the motors that propel the vehicle forward through the external circuit. Because the ions are light and tiny, lithium is the ideal element to use. Sodium, however, comes in second. Sodium is located right below lithium in the periodic table and has many of the same chemical characteristics, including the capacity to pass through battery materials at the same speed. However, its advantage is that it is 1,000 times more common on Earth than lithium. Sodium carbonate, often known as soda ash, is a crucial component of sodium ion batteries and is produced in factories using salt and limestone, or found in rocks and salt lake brines. These two minerals are nearly limitless as easily attainable. Switching them from lithium to sodium ion batteries could result in less expensive battery packs and less reliance on essential minerals. Are they yet to sufficient to power EVs though? The newest lithium ion batteries can run an electric vehicle EV for approximately 3 to 400 miles on a single full charge. Regretfully, compared to lithium ions, sodium ions are three times heavier and one third larger. This implies that in order for a sodium ion battery to store the same amount of energy, their electrodes need to be thicker and heavier. Sodium batteries are starting to compete with lithium ion systems due to recent advancements. This is especially the case for systems that employ lithium ion phosphate LFP cathodes. Despite not being able to store energy as density is a best in class technology, LFP containing batteries are becoming more and more important because they are usually 20% less expensive. Although many sodium ion cathodes are being developed, layered oxide cathodes are utilized in batteries with the highest energy density. These batteries are sufficient to produce 150 to 250 mile passenger electric vehicles at a lower cost. Challenges around, say, lithium, nickel, cobalt supply. Some OEMs have turned to sodium ion. According to recent studies, the newer sodium ion battery packs lower cost energy ingredients allow them to even compete LF batteries in price. As a result, sodium ion technology can produce affordable EVs with enough range to be especially useful for city drivers and commuters. China is already aware of this possibility. Recently, the Chinese battery project CATL said that it plans to provide sodium ion batteries for a new electric vehicle model to Cherry, another Chinese automaker. Sodium ion is very unique in that way that we can ship these at zero volts, so it's like essentially shipping a bag of electrolyte, not, a, not an active battery. A sodium-powered variant with 155 mile range has also been announced by two other Chinese producers, HINA and Jack Group. It is perpetuated to approximately US $10,000, $8,220 in China. The energy density of sodium ion batteries can still be greatly increased. The cathode is one bottleneck. Because the best layered oxide cathode materials can only store roughly half as much sodium ion as the anode, the battery must weigh more because twice as much cathode material is needed to balance both sides of the sandwich. 
In order to increase the range of electric vehicles, EVs research is being done to create more cathode materials that can store more odium ions in their structure and produce a higher voltage output. Now, sodium ion batteries are starting to show up in EV sales. It is unclear how far they will go to compete with lithium batteries with shorter ranges. This will depend on developments in materials, science and economic headwinds. Within the industry, there is a provincial belief that the lithium ion and sodium ion batteries are complementary with each other rather than interchangeable. Large-scale energy storage and medium and low-speed electric cars are better suited for sodium ion batteries because of their low energy density. Cost-effective sodium ion batteries are anticipated to become a significant addition to lithium ion batteries as the industry invests more technology advances and the industrial chain gets better, particularly in the area of fixed energy storage. It has promising future development. The primary categories of battery requirements are increased capacity, quicker charging safety and reduced costs. In his opinion, sodium ion batteries have further benefits beyond their transient capacity to handle higher demands. Currently, the majority of application for sodium ion battery products are under 150 watt hours kg, which can partially mitigate the constrained development of energy storage batteries, both on the spigarities and do not appear on the bottleneck. The method of creating sodium ion batteries involves self-breakthrough. In the end, lithium batteries and sodium ion batteries will unavoidably complete the market share and competitiveness. Improving cycle life is crucial for applications involving energy storage. The 1980 giant challenges that any technical industry must overcome include constructing production lines, raising production capacity, and attaining steady mass production. The story of sodium ion batteries is only getting started. The main factor that makes sodium ion batteries cost effective is their low cost of raw materials. The cost of sodium batteries was not more advantageous than that of lithium batteries prior to the establishment of a stable industrial chain of production system. The main drawback is the energy of density of sodium ion batteries is lower than that of lithium ion batteries. This implies that the range of an electric vehicle EV equipped with a sodium battery the size of a typical lithium ion battery would be reduced after just one charge. To further complicate matters, adding high voltage to the same area accelerates the depletion of sodium ion batteries. The electrolyte or the portion of the battery between the positive cathode side and the negative anode side that permits ions to flow back and forth as the cell charges and discharges energy is a primary distinction in their novel battery. The electrochemical process to keep those ions moving slow down when a battery nears the end of its useful life, preventing the battery from charging again. Compared to lithium ion batteries, sodium ion battery now undergo this process far more quickly. Our research indicates that as of right now, lithium batteries will continue to be the primary source of energy storage around the globe because sodium battery technology is still in its infancy. However, as is well known, lithium batteries have a wealth of benefits and features that fully satisfy the needs of modern machinery. That's all for today. Hope you liked today's video. If you're interested in learning more about new technologies, check out other videos of the channel. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also give us a thumbs up. Until the next video, bye.